This is actually a way to find your program at OSU and the specific requirements that it has. When it comes to master's degrees and PhD programs, pretty much every degree is very specific with requirements. Sometimes they require the GRE, sometimes they don't. To find all the specifics, um, I really recommend checking out this gradschool.oregonstate.edu slash programs um, to find your degree program. And I'll put this link in the chat a little bit later. Um, but going on here is really cool because you can actually find a lot of really helpful information. So when you but for example, let's say you're interested in animal sciences, just because it's on the list here. You can click on animal sciences here, and it'll open up a page that not only has all of the application requirements and information, but you can scroll down and it'll actually have all the faculty information as well, um, which I'll explain why this is important in a minute. But you can click on each of the faculty profiles and see the research they've done, the universities they went to, um, articles they've published, all this different information so you can get to know your professors before you even come to OSU. Students that are interested in engineering programs or computer science, there are two different options. We have a master's of science and a master's of engineering. They can typically be a little confusing to find out the differences, so I wanted to explain them today. So our master's of science degree is a thesis-based degree. While our Master's of Engineering, or MEng, as we call it, is coursework only, so no thesis. Both of these degree programs have the exact same coursework, but the Master's of Engineering degree has no thesis, so it can actually be completed faster. The Master's of Science is typically a full two years or a little bit longer, depending on how long it takes to complete your thesis and the research that you are doing for your thesis. But the Master's of Engineering can typically be completed in a little less than two years. So it's it's very, um, it's a little bit faster and it's uh, very streamlined for students who are really just an, interested in enhancing their skills so they can get a great job in the industry of their choice. That's what Master's of Engineering is for. Master's of Science is going to be a better fit for students who are interested in a, getting a PhD or a career in research or academia. It doesn't mean that Master's of Engineering students can't, it's just more of a direct route going through the Master's of Science program. And the differences when it comes to application, um, deadlines and the process in general, they're pretty big differences. So as you can see on here, the MS um, degree program, so that thesis-based degree, they have application deadlines typically starting about nine months before the start of the program. So for example, you could apply um, by December 2021 for fall 2022's term. So you have to apply that far in advance, but it's perfect for any of you that are already looking at fall 2022 because you've got time. Um, you have time to prepare that application. Um, but when it comes to our Masters of Engineering, it's a much faster turnaround time. You know, you're going to find out within 10 days if you um, were accepted into the program. So it's, it's a little bit less stress. You don't have to stress about it for nine months knowing if you got in or not to the program. For the thesis-based degree, you will typically need to do the GRE or GMAT. It depends on the program, though, because not all accept. For example, our computer science program does not require the GRE anymore. This is a new um, thing since COVID, so it's a benefit to all of you who didn't want to take the GRE. Um, if you have taken it or you still want to, you can totally submit your score, but it's not required um, for the computer science program specifically. And uh, you'll also need to have a personal statement, resume, CV, usually three letters of recommendation as well. So there's a lot of different things that go into this application, which is why it takes so long for the department to review these applications. If you have any um, you know, questions about this, you can, of course, reach out to myself or reach out to Sunita at you know, Let's Talk by Sunita um, Bose because um, she's a really great resource for everything when it comes to the, you know, figuring out the applications and which degree is right for you. I will also send over some tips for writing a personal statement to her so you can reach out to her if you are interested in that so you can kind of see what OSU is looking for when it comes to a personal statement. 
And then, of course, when it comes to all of the rest of these here, there's going to be some differences when it comes to assistantships and scholarships and all of that. But the most important thing to know is that no matter if you go into a thesis based or non thesis based degrees, your job opportunities are the same. If you are at a career fair and a recruiter you know, asks you, you know, what you studied, all they care about is that you have a master's degree and that you know what you're talking about. They're not gonna care if it's a master's of science or master's of engineering. So it's the same types of job opportunities, same STEM approval, everything like that. Um, you'll just have to find out which one is the best fit for you. If you are interested in a thesis-based degree program or PhD program, I really recommend that you connect with faculty during the application process because um, you typically need to have the support of a major professor and um, actually you know, have the support of what research they are doing as well and work well with them when it comes to their research topic. So um, if you can remember back to I was talking about how to find different faculty information, um, when you go and look at their profiles, they'll actually have contact details right there for the professor. So check out their research, see what research they're doing. If um, a professor has some research they're doing that's really interesting to you and aligns with what you're interested in, connect with them, you know, send them an email, but make sure that you don't just say, hey, I'm interested in your program because they're going to be like, I don't know what to do with that. You know, make sure that you say, um, this is my work experience. This is what I've been doing. This is why I'm interested. This is like um, your research is, you know, what I'm really interested in doing. How can I get involved? I'm, I'm working on applying all of that. So, so make sure that you really show your interest so you have um, the most opportunity to get a response um, from the uh, faculty or professor.